today we're going to create an existing surface road corridor corridor surface analyze and balance cut and fill volumes first thing that you always need is an existing surface to build on we're going to hide some of these elements in order to select our 3D polylines go to tool space under surfaces right button create surface we'll call this existing ground EG short go back over to our EG and we'll click on definitions and we'll add contours also call these EG there's our surface we'll unhide our isolated objects next thing we're going to do is go home and go to alignments alignment creation tools we'll call this already called road one that's fine we'll click OK our dynamic uh, selection tools over here to the left we're going to do tangent to tangent with curves it has a defaulted curve setting in that you can go back to that and change that later if you need to we're just going to plot some PI points in here where we think it alignment may go for now we can always go back and add and subtract or take out or adjust the curves if necessary now we're going to create an existing profile surface and our profiles we have our alignment road surface we'll click add draw and profile view we want to call this one existing ground as well creating profile and we're going to put it over on the right side to kind of get it out of the way now we're going to create our proposed profile. It's asking us what profiles do we want to create it in. We're going to click on here. This will come up and we'll call this one PRO for proposed. Click OK. Again, another tool setting will come up. We'll go to the left and we're going to dynamically do similar to what we did with the horizontal draw a tangent with curves. Again, your curve settings and uh, design you can always go back and change later but for right now we'll just plot some PIs as we did in the horizontal where we think they may go okay after we get that done we need to create assemblies so we we'll go over here and click on our tool palettes to get those ready and we'll go to our assemblies create assembly We'll call these road one. And I'm going to put it right here above my profile so I know where it's at. And I'll go over here to my tool palettes and hit basic, basic lane. It's on the right side, it's 12 foot under properties out here. You can change those, but we're going to leave it for now. We'll hit the center of the assembly. Go back over here to properties and hit the left side. Back to tool palettes, we're going to use a basic curve and gutter. We'll click on that, and this comes up to the left side, one and a half foot standard gutter. And we'll click again on the right side. Now we want to add a daylight, clicking back on our tool palettes. So we want to use a daylight multi intercept, just standard. Uh, ground existing proposed multi intercept. We'll notice this is on the right side, but I want to change my slopes to 3 to 1 instead of 4, so I'm going to change them right now. Go to the right side, and we'll click on left side. Okay, now we have created all the elements for a corridor necessary for a corridor design. We'll go to corridor, uh, create simple corridor. We'll call this one road one. It's going to ask me my line. My alignments here, you can check, grab it here, or you can, I always hit enter and select it. But you can select it either on the drawing or you can hit enter and select it from your uh, pull downs. 
We use the proposed because we had the proposed vertical. Now we had only one assembly in there, road one, so we'll select that. Then your target mapping comes up. You want to map it, of course, to existing ground surface so that it ties back in uh, to that surface. Click OK, and you should see this generated on your in your plan view. Uh, there's your curb and gutter lines, center line, your pavements in here, and here's your tie-in points of your cut and fill. Now we want to create a surface out of our corridor. We click over our tool spaces and we go down to our corridor settings and roll out and we can right button over corridor go to properties select the surfaces tabs we want to use links and top and we want the right, left hand button to add a surface here but we want to use the top all the way across because that's what we normally do on cut and fill first time through with plus there go to boundaries your next tab right button over that add automatically your daylight and if you hit OK, that should create your contours and your 3D. You can see that your contours fall nicely along the curb and gutter to your crown and back and tie into your existing ground. So everything looks good. Now we go to Analyze. We want to analyze our volumes really quick. Just hit Volumes and on the left hand button, you want to click this Create a New Volume Entry and we'll click the Base Surface in our existing ground and our road one surface as our comparison to as we can see we have about you know four thousand cubic yards of cut so if we, we always want to leave a little bit of cut in there let's say we want to get this to the nearest few hundreds cubic yards so we want to maybe bring this up a little bit just to show you demonstrate how this can work and if we bring that up just a little bit you'll notice on the left here exclamation mark means you've changed something so you need to to correct that and you can also notice the change as we rebuild this you rebuild that and now you notice that change just a little bit and also you can go over here and hit the recompute volumes and it should give you okay we're within 257 feet so um, cubic yards that's good enough for me uh, and good enough for less than 10 minute demonstration thank you